Hi, I'm Katrina. You watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So this past weekend, William Zapata completely dominated Jojo Diaz in a really good fight. He was aggressive. He was walking down Jojo Diaz and got a very decisive, impressive win over Diaz. The lightweight division continues to shape up with all these new faces. Now with William Zapata, a fighter who has power, he's very aggressive. He knows how to box a little bit. He's now one of the serious threats at 135. In fact, DAZN put this post up asking who was next for Zapata and Shakur Stevenson. He said, I'm down. Shakur Stevenson, he continues to go after the best, the most dangerous opponents. Because I can tell you, as good as Shakur Stevenson is, Zapata is a very dangerous opponent. But beating someone as good as Zapata will look really, really good on Shakur Stevenson's resume which I do believe he will beat him. Man, I'm telling you guys right now, when Devin Haney moves up to 135, this division at 135 is going to be even more deeper than it was before. I mean, you got fighters like Frank Martin, now William Zapata, you got uh, H2O, Michelle Rivera, Isaac Cruz, former champion George Cambosis, Lomachenko, and I'm just naming a few. But it is a really, really stacked division. But once again, if Shakur Stevenson gets this William Zapata fight, that definitely sets the tone. As strong as Zapata is, his power, his aggression, especially with the fight being at a different weight class for Shakur Stevenson, that definitely presents new challenges for Shakur Stevenson. Now, I don't know if this fight can happen with the whole DAZN ESPN thing or how difficult it would be to make the fight. But clearly, Shakur Stevenson is interested. Let's see how it plays out. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.